Hello lovelies! I know it has been a while since my last video. Have you missed me? <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am Katya with Lunar Sun Creations and I have another amazing mini album, not so mini album, uh, with a tutorial for you. Uh, so this album is... Um, I'm, I'm really loving this one. This one I'm calling my Rainbow Album. It uses five different collections, all from Paper House Productions. It's the Colorways Productions, Colorways uh, Paper Collections. Um, so I've used the Great Gatsby, which is gold, uh, the Rouge, which is red, the um, Sapphire, which is the blue, the Emerald, which is the green, and the Orchid, which is the purple. So I've used those five collections to make up my rainbow album. It is eight pages. It can hold 140 photos. More if you crack them down a little bit. And uh, I'm really loving it. It's super colorful, it's super happy. And uh, the tutorial is available right now in my Etsy shop. Oh, and I apologize. Um, one of the parts of the 10 part tutorial, video part of the tutorial um, accidentally went live onto YouTube and almost 400 people saw it before I realized that it was not uh, as a private video, it was public. So sorry for the teaser. Um, now you get to see the whole thing, but you have to get the tutorial. <laughs> okay, without further ado, here is the album. Okay, uh, here it is. I'm very excited to show this one to you. I love this one. <laughs> um, so this is my rainbow album and it's very, very colorful and happy and fun. I love it. I've got some enamel dots on the front all in rainbow colors. And this was um, all black and white, but I just um, used ink and kind of blended it to match the rainbow colors and just uh, cardstock that I've cut in a rainbow pattern. The side, the spine, and the back is just playing because there's so much going on in the front. It's a multi-ribbon closure, all the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> I love that. It makes me very happy. <laughs> and then some um, butterflies on the front that are uh, metal and um, mesh. Okay, so let's get into it. So the album uh, measures uh, nine and three quarters by eight with a four inch spine and it's eight pages long. What, eight pages big? Eight pages? Eight, eight, it's eight pages. <laughs> and it uses the um, five collections from Paper House Productions. So the starts with the Great Gatsby collection, which is in the golds, because um, I didn't have any yellow. They didn't have a yellow collection, because I know that's it's yellow, not gold in the rainbow. But so the Great Gatsby, and then the Rouge, and then the Emerald, the Sapphire, and the Orchid collection. Okay, so starting with the golds, just a simple inside cover. And then on the first page, we've got a large belly band inside the belly band is a simple um, pull out and then it's got um, magnets here and here on either side to hold this in place and this lifts up and this lifts up as well oh this is gonna be I'm gonna be moving this around a lot and then this is a pocket with a simple tag in it Okay, and then yeah, the rest of the page here. So these both open to the sides and they're, um, this flap is magnetized closed and I tried to match these up as best I could. So this folds down and it's just a piece of gold glitter paper down here. And then, uh, yeah, all magnets back up like that. So that is page one. And the next page is the Rouge page and I'm loving this one. Um, so these, this opens to the side and to the side, but it also opens up like this. So, and this one opens to the back. So it's kind of like a um, easel. So these both well, when I, as soon as I flip it up, everything, the whole dynamic of it changes. <laughs> like that. There we go. So, 
doesn't when I'm flipping the album up it doesn't want to stay but when it's sitted down so they go like that and you can also like open this up and then have it sitting open so there's like journaling spots or end photo spots and you can have it sitting like that all right and then this can go underneath or over top whichever you so desire all right and then this whole thing opens up and then these two open to the sides and for journaling there and then they open to the sides again so lots of space and then a couple journaling tags in the pocket and that all magnetizes back down and then on the corresponding page over here got this really nice like metal kind of door knocker ring fastener thingy so this opens to the side and then it also opens up and then this opens to the right some spot for both photos and journaling another nice metal embellishment and opens to the left so mirrored there and then these open up and down and they're magnetized and then there's a swing tab here and these open left and right and then again magnetized up and down and I know it's kind of going out of frame but it's roses up there roses down there okay so that's the reds now onto the green spectrum and as always and pretty well not always but most of my albums I like the pages to lie as flat as possible see how flat that's lying even though there's a lot going on and that's because I use an expandable um, binding system that you learn in the tutorial um, so there's a tutorial for this if you if I hadn't mentioned that already <laughs> tutorial for this in my Etsy shop and so you will learn how to make it um, so yes yeah, so the greens here that opens to the right and then we have got like um, a different take on a waterfall so these open up to the sides I left it blank in the center because I didn't want it to get too bulky and I wanted lots of room just for the photos and that opens like that and again so it's a waterfall with like tons of extra space you can fit so many photos in here all right and then on the corresponding green page so these are left open so you can um, just need a piece of paper just so I can show you so those are left open um, so you can stick a photo right in underneath there and this uh, opens to the left some journaling space and space for photos and then um, oh and this also opens like this and that goes to the right and some tags in the pocket just blank on the back okay and then this um, this is a, there's a little latch buckle kind of thing here so that opens and this opens up to the side so just spots for journaling and pictures there and then this part opens up to the top and then you've got a swing tag swing tab here and that goes down and then the whole thing opens up again just because that wasn't enough that wasn't enough places for photos come on let's get serious <laughs> we gotta go extreme here this is a this is a Cadio Lunar Sun Creations album we go extreme <laughs> and then there's more room for photos here I just couldn't bear to cut this I loved this piece of paper for some reason so I couldn't bear to cut it so I had to make a spot where I could just put just that piece of paper <laughs> all right so that is that page and now we move on to the blues so for the blues over here both of these open up to the top they also open to the side and then they also do this and sit upright for as an easel 
Now they're gonna be stubborn with me right now. It's like it's like you know when you get try and get your cats to do something on camera, and they they've been doing it all day, but then as soon as you like try and video them, they won't do it. At least I have that. <laughs> anyway, so they easel up like that, so you can kind of display the pictures in a different way, and then they magnetize back down. Oh, and you can also, I mean, you can cut a picture and put put it on here. This is the part that bends, right? So you can cut a picture and put it there if you desire. And then this is magnetized and opens to the top, and I loved, I think it's a Dahlia. I loved this paper, so I didn't want to cut it too much either. I wanted to keep it nice and whole. Alright, and then the next blue page. So a swing tab here. This opens to the side. To the side, and then again. Hard to see, but there it is. <laughs> and then this one opens... Um, First it opens out to the side like that, and I tried to match it with this bottom piece so it kind of continued on. I love to do that. And then it also opens up. And then you've got this little door pull over here, and it's magnetized, and that opens up. And then you've got a couple swing tabs. And this opens up as well. And there's another... Delia, Dahlia? I'm not even sure if I've got the right flower. Another flower. Another really pretty blue flower. <laughs> and that closes all back up like that. Okay, and then on the last page we've got the orchid, the purples. So this opens to the left. We've got some really pretty flat back pearls up there. I love that pearl string. And uh, this opens, it's a little magnetized flap here. And this opens like this, and then there's a whole bunch of space for photos in here because it does that! Isn't that cool? I'm quite quite excited about this. So it does that, so um, you can have photos just on this side and this side, but you can also open it like this and just kind of like flip it like a normal kind of book. But I just like the effect it has when you go like that. <laughs> and then on the back cover, um, we've just got uh, some of the flat back pearls and some, I don't know if you can see them. It's a really, really pretty, pretty pearl design there on either side. I just love those. Although I didn't get that one completely center but that's all right <laughs> they were difficult to put on <laughs> but I love them and this um, this album can fit 140 photos plus journaling spots it's it's uh, it's got some girth to it so um, you know you can fit a lot of you can fit probably more more if you crop them that was like almost all of those are four by six photos so you can definitely fit more if you want to crop them down a little bit um, so yeah, I hope that you love this album as much as I love this album. And um, the tutorial, like I said, is available in my Etsy shop. And uh, yeah, look for more to come soon. Thank you so much for watching and for your continued support. And I love you guys very much and you're awesome and I love your comments. And big smiles, big hugs. Meow.